as you know, uh, and everyone knows, there's been a lot of talk lately about uh, guns that are killing kids. And uh, a lot of people just want to do away with guns, just make them non-existent. And uh, I just want to give a little bit of food for thought here as we look at this a little bit closer. And I'll be showing samples of what I'm talking about. And I want to say uh, I have to give credit to uh, the TV stations, KHOU Channel 11, Channel 13, and uh, Channel 2, and anyone else that I've gotten the information off of their news sites on the internet. But I'm printed these. I have printed these out to show, document what I'm saying. I'm not making this up. A lot of people would think I was, because it's kind of hard to believe that this can be happening, and uh, and happening as much as it does. And no one has ever even mentioned anything about this, but yet get all upset because you know other kids get. Uh, shot in one group that that is a small part of it. I mean that does need to be addressed There's no denying that and I'd be a fool to say otherwise, but Looking at it seriously There's the question. Why was this never addressed? We'll start out here There's an 11 year old who went missing from Katie area home found well, an 11 year old is still a little bit young to be out by himself. He should never have been to a point where he'd become up missing. Uh, maybe they need to teach the kid a little bit more, whatever. I don't know, but anyway, I just want to show that somewhere there, there is a problem with a youngster. And here's one where a Chinese man bit off his son's body part because he was having money problem. Well, so he takes it out on his own kid. Yeah, here's one. By the way, all this is taking place in the Houston general area and surrounding cities and towns, uh, mostly within 50 miles of uh, Houston and a few from outside the state. Uh, but this is only a small fraction of all of it that goes on. A Pearland toddler found near busy street after escaping from daycare. Well, if anyone knows how to take care of a kid and keep an eye on them, a daycare should. This should never, ever, for any reason, ever happen. Because uh, a kid this young, if doors are locked right and windows, they cannot get out, and parents should be checking on them. Uh, not the parents, but the caretaker should be constantly checking on them. Everyone knows that. And I sure would hold the place accountable if they took care of my kids and he got out of there. They would end up paying for it. And here's one. Uh, mom abandons daughter at store. She had four other kids with her. She forgot how many she brought with her, so she didn't realize it till a little while after she got home, but the store called the police and they went to check and then they finally found her, got the kid back with her. And here's one. Uh, I'll just see this for yourself. Father charged with leaving daughter alone in car. He, uh, Parked the car, forgot where it was, he forgot he had his daughter in the car. He calls the cops, they go looking around, and they found the car right where he had parked it, a block from the bar where he was and spent his time. Here's one uh, bus rider comes to rescue a barefoot toddler found alone along the interstate. And it goes on to say here that, uh, anyway, it says, uh, from his parents' doorstep in Oak Cliff to blocks away outside of McDonald's restaurant along Interstate 35, a tiny two-year-old uh, 
barefoot and still in pajamas, was walking along in the middle of a busy street. And anyway, they spotted him. The bus driver stopped. The woman got out, got the kid, saved his life. Uh, does it kind of bring up the question, how did the kid get there? Who were the parents? What were the parents doing? Uh, I don't know. Just some of these questions cannot be answered. Other than uh, in a lot of the cases, most of them, it's just total irresponsibility and don't give a damn. Driver and police chase faces child endangerment charges. This guy here was drinking. And uh, let's see. The driver flagged down a police officer in the 3300 block of Alabama and sent the driver a red Cadillac had hit his car. That driver told police turned out to be so and so who had a criminal history that includes assault, theft, and other felony charges. Police said they could only see Birch and a woman in his red Cadillac as they tried to stop him. At some point, police said the woman in the vehicle called dispatch and said her daughter was with her and Birch. She asked police not to shoot the vehicle. Well, what can you say? Search continues for a man who kidnapped a five-year-old from library, from what I can make out of this one. Uh, says the Harris County Sheriff's investigators were seeking clues in the abduction of a five-year-old girl from a library Tuesday night. The child was later found wandering through an open field. The incident occurred at the Fairbanks Library on Gessner Road in Northwest Houston. Says the child was at the library with her mom and teenage sister. At some point she got separated from her family and that's when a man lured her into his vehicle. I'm assuming that uh, she may have been assaulted and dumped out on the street. <laughs> okay. This one. A woman charged after causing DWI crash with five year old in car. Uh, she had a five year old enjoy the night drinking. Uh, I guess she's been leaving the kid in the car because she couldn't find somebody to babysit while she went and had her good times. And it says uh, she was driving in the 19,800 block of Kirkendall on September 24th when her Toyota Camry ran into a ditch when airborne struck the hood and roof of another vehicle, then crashed into a light pole. Sounded like she might have endangered the kid's life there. Uh, here's one. Houston mom, 22, accused of breaking leg, fracturing ribs of twin baby girl. Okay, it says uh, this is her own kid you know, abusing her five month old twins. According to the police, she was charged with felony injury to a child. Told the doctor. <coughs> told the doctors the older one baby fell on the younger <coughs> one. There's one. Three year old slips out of daycare and into busy street. Well, there's no explanation for that. There again. They should know above anyone else, as many kids as they take care of, where that should never happen. There's one man charged after allegedly leaving children uh, in the parking lot to wander around for nearly an hour. What he did here says he left his 10-year-old daughter, an 8-year-old daughter, and 6-year-old son at an apartment complex to, uh, I'm working on this, uh, let's see, he left him to look for their mother on October 21st, 
told the kids to go to their aunt's apartment, but they didn't know where the complex she lived was. So the children went to an apartment they thought belonged to her, but a man said they didn't hit, uh, a, but a man they didn't know answered the door. The children then reportedly looked at their aunt, for their aunt for 45 minutes before calling the police. I don't know who called them. To, I don't know the kids. Here's another one, toddler rescued from pool by nine-year-old sister. Uh, see, this concerns an 18 months old. Just makes you wonder how a year and a half old kid gets away and out of the house and into by the swimming pool. Was it left by the parent to, for the nine-year-old to take care of? I don't know. There's no. Nothing on that, so I can't make too much of a statement, but you see what happens. Okay, here's one. Toddler seen standing in front seat before mom crashes into tree. It's endangerment. Let's see. Doesn't say if she was drinking or not. She's outside. I'll, I'll just let her out if you came in. Okay. Uh, here's a dead one. Mom who glued kids' hands to wall faces life term. Well. It says uh, the kid was hospitalized for about a week with injuries that included bleeding on her brain, a fractured rib, severe bruises, and other likely caused, others likely caused by direct blows. It does happen on a daily basis. Okay, here's one. Mother accused of beating seven-year-old disabled son. Well, I imagine it's getting pretty boring watching this right now, isn't it? Why is it getting boring? Because it's the same thing over and over and over. And when there's that much of it, it should stand to tell you there's something wrong here when it's so boring that you don't even care to, you've seen enough of it. But yet, there has never been anyone coming up and complaining something needs to be done about these kids getting killed. Only the ones that are against the guns are doing the complaining, and that's only because they want the guns out of the way. Not, I don't. I think that's more of the case than there is the actual problem. A couple accused of leaving infant four-year-old alone for several hours. Well, it's a little more than, let's see. Yeah, she left her kid at home for several hours. Cops got there and they couldn't find her. They took the kid in. Yeah, here's one. Daycare worker fractures baby's leg on second day he was left in her care. Not even her kid. Says she heard the legs, the kid's leg pop when she was uh, taking care of it. And you hear the mother of that four year old home alone while she went to work eight hours. Mom passed out in parking a lot with three year old sleeping on lap. Accused of biting a toddler on its cheek. I said the boy will be okay. There's one found alone, wandering in his diaper. And now, 
here's where it changes. Man accused of dropping child on head. It's pretty bad. Here's one woman guilty in case of stepson's dehydration deaths. That's one killed, no gun used. And charged with capital murder after two year old found unconscious and bad, no gun used. Police investigating incident deaths in Rosenberg. No gun used. Man fatally hits stepson when a man that size hits a child. We know what the result's gonna be. No gun was used. Mom accused of killing two of her kids. And if you see there, it says Christiane Walker is pregnant again. Five-year-old left comatose after severely beaten by mom's boyfriend. No gun. Mother accused of leaving 13 months old. Outside alone where child was struck by a car. Says they were all out with some neighbors uh, yakety yakking outside in the courtyard. Say that uh, the lady was outside her apartment on Uvalde Road with her daughter and several other family members when someone went, in, when everyone went inside, leaving the 13 months old outdoors. What was run over and killed. No gun used. The caretaker of a two year old reported missing a week ago has been. Arrested on a charge of capital murder after Tyler's body was found in her West Texas home. He was down in the basement 40 miles east of Lubbock. Another kid dead, no gun used. Uh, here's one Illinois woman accused of killing her own son and a, a girl as she babysat him. Stabbed him, I believe, uh, 150 times. No gun used. The kids are dead. Here's one of a little girl. A 300 pound caretaker had set on the baby. The woman across the street had been hearing screams. She uh, recorded some of this and sent it to the agency. They ended up killing the kid before the agency did anything on it, from what I read there. Here's a, a toddler of death in Pasadena found, uh, let me see, two-year-old boy died, to say he was found around 2.30 p.m. at an apartment complex. He was dead, no gun used. Mother charged with injury to a child after infant is severely malnourished. Well, where was the kid? Just, you know, she eats. What does she do? Look at the kid while she's eating. Uh, no gun used. The kid ended up dying. Here's another one. Mother pleads guilty to son's death. Uh, autopsy found it's died of of an abdomen infection that developed after a hard blow. No gun used. Bear with me on these. Uh, I, I'm just offering proof. Backing up what I'm saying, it's not the guns that are killing the kids, it's the people that are using the guns that are killing kids. And it will not be solved by having gun laws changed. These kids will still be dying. And if you want to deny that, you are a fool is all I can say. The detective said three-year-old daughter and five-year-old son 
were in a car when he was uh, drunk and pulled over at 2.30 in the morning. Uh, I guess his, uh, he had to go find him a girlfriend so he had some more kids to ride around with him while he was going to the bars or whatever. Okay, and here's one where a New York nanny uh, shaking his nanny accused of killing kids. Uh, let me see. Three old, three year old daughter. On Thursday evening, children's mother uh, took her three year old daughter home from a swim lesson to find her other youngsters, two and six, dying of knife wounds in the bathtub. And on that line, see, that wasn't a gun that did that. It was a person that did it. Now, here's one. Toddler dies after eating chili powder given as punishment. Well, uh, that was done by a human being. Here's one of a child wandering alone in a diaper. He didn't get killed, but. And here's a couple that just happened recently in the last day or two. Officer Fragley shoots dad holding butcher knife to baby's throat. No gun. This is the dad of the kid. And here, here's something really, I, I don't know what to say about this one. Dad accused of burning his baby by placing him in hot water. Well, see, I'm looking at the baby back then. I believe the baby died. I really don't see. They charged him with causing serious bodily injury, but I, I don't see if he died or not. Most likely did, it doesn't say. And how about this one? Police find baby's body in trash can in Stafford home. Uh, what can you say about this one? Uh, it was the mama. She decided she wouldn't be able to take care of it. She didn't think about it. Uh, you know, seven months earlier, the, uh, I think the baby was uh, been carried about seven months up to this point she decided she wanted an abortion so she just took a bunch of stuff to uh, cause an abortion when she had the baby she just threw it in her trash just like you know it, what do you say I just want to leave this as uh, food for thought anyone that wants to uh, Comment on as well to make their own video. I'm, I'm no pro in or anything. I'm just an average guy like anybody. And I hope I'm just making a point here. But I'm welcome. Uh, I welcome anybody that wants to make a little film, proving to me that it's these guns that are killing these kids, and not the kids, not the people themselves doing it. But uh, it's the people that are always charged with the murders of these kids, not the uh, guns. They've never charged a gun with it, so that should tell you the gun is not the one doing it.